Welcome back. Researchers are one step closer to making science fiction a reality. Spain's ships have traveled through wormholes in movies like Star Wars, Star Trek, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Interstellar. But now scientists at Caltech say they have simulated a baby wormhole and even transmitted a message through it. Astrophysicist Hakim Alusei joins me live now for more on this. Hakim, I love our chats because uh, I need your help here. Help us lay people out, okay? Pretend you're talking to a five-year-old and explain yeah, yeah. to me what is a wormhole and why is this so important? Thank you for having me. I love talking to you as well. So it's all about space and time and our understanding of it. So Albert Einstein and his pal Rosen showed us that if I have two points in space, say from here to here, and I want to travel from one to other, I have to go this entire distance. But the thing that Albert Einstein taught us is that space is like a malleable fabric, right? And so if you can bend it under the right conditions, then traveling from here to here means I don't have to go as far and I can go through a little hole and go, boom, I made it, I'm there, right? And that's, and that's what we see in our science fiction. So imagine you're in a room and you're trying to get from one wall to the opposite wall. You could walk across the corp carpet or you could warp it, right? You could bring the carpet to you, step across the curved carpet and then let it unfold behind you. That's how warp drive works. But what we're talking about here is a wormhole. So a wormhole in reality is something that the laws of physics allow. And if you have enough stuff in space, you could create a black hole. And under certain conditions, two black holes can combine to create this shortcut through space time. And so what these researchers have done is attempted to build one inside of a computer, but not just any computer, a quantum computer. Doing this right, I did. I'm attempting to make my own here with a little piece of paper. I don't think I don't it. think I'm doing it quite correctly. Uh, Close enough. It's the hole. Hakeem, <laughs> the scientists say that they simulated a baby right. wormhole. So how far is right. that from creating something that we could actually see used in the real world? Well, so what they've done is a very, very basic simulation. One of the problems that they have is that the quantum computers today just don't have enough power to simulate actual reality. So what they did is what we call a holographic type of simulation. So with a hologram, you can take something that's, say, two-dimensional and make it appear three-dimensional. So what they did is they took a very simplified universe, one-dimensional, and created this two-dimensional black hole. So what do they mean by black hole? So if I take some matter and throw it into a real life black hole, all the information of what that matter is gets scrambled up. OK, so what they have is one simulated black hole and a second simulated black hole. They put information, what they call a qubit, into one. It gets all scrambled up and all the information is destroyed. But then it pops out of the other wormhole in order, in sequence, just like they put it in. And the key thing about this, I said we, they use a quantum computer, is because real life black holes are unstable. You throw any matter in, the thing closes on and you can't traverse from one location to another. So what they did for this is in the quantum realm, which quantum computers allow, you can have negative energies. So when the black hole, when the wormhole attempts to close, you hit it with negative energy, it keeps it open, and then the information can pass. So I know it's a lot, but that's what they did. It is a lot. <laughs> that part I got. That part I understood. It's definitely a lot. Yeah. Hakeem Lucy, I have so many more questions, but we are out of time. We will have to have you back. Thank you, as always. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.